All right, it's um, okay. A, a quick, a quick one on New York and San Francisco. Um, just some good news. Uh, so uh, I've talked about in the past the district attorney of New York not wanting to prosecute uh, crimes, not wanting people to go to jail, uh, armed robbery not being a offense that he was going to ask for jail time for. Pretty spooky, ridiculous stuff. Mugging was not going to be an offense that they were going to ask for jail time for. This guy was a product of the nutty left. Uh, the mayor of New York is not. He's a former cop. He's much more rational when it comes to law enforcement. He's much better when it comes to issues of crime. Uh, he has basically overridden the district attorney, put him into a corner, and it looks like we'll have a saner situation in New York than what we thought. Uh, it looks much better than the worst-case scenario. People don't want the nuttiness. They don't want it. When they faced actually with it, they don't want it. They might want it in theory. They might think it sounds nice. It might appease their guilt. It might make them feel a little bit better. But they don't actually want to live it. And then what happened today in San Francisco is very exciting. So uh, I, I, I don't know if you remember, we did the story on the show, uh, I don't know, about a year ago, that in the midst of COVID, with the school shut down and the hysteria in San Francisco about COVID, San Francisco uh, not only shut down its schools, but decided to rename them. They didn't want schools named after racists like Lincoln or you know, uh, uh, what's her name, the senator from, uh, from California, uh, Feinstein. They didn't want schools named after these people because they were beyond the pale. Now, you could make the argument that Feinstein was beyond the pale, but not by their standards. <laughs> they had 50 schools they wanted to rename their names. Then they decided that they were going to shut down, or, or not shut down, change. There were the two schools in San Francisco that accept students based on merit. And they, the, the school board decided that they were going to um, basically stop accepting students by merit and have a uh, lottery. And this infuriated Asian parents in particular because I think three quarters of the kids in those schools are Asian. So over the last year, parents have organized and they organized a recall a recall movement to recall three of the members of the school board, the president, the vice president, and one other woman. And they succeeded. They voted them out. The recall won. They're out. The mayor who supported the recall, the mayor of San Francisco is a leftist herself, supported the recall because even she realized that this was insane, or she realized that her constituency thought it was insane. And the fact is that if you add this up to what happened in November and you add this up to other aspects, what you see is a rejection of the crazy left's educational agenda. What you see is parents rising up to fight these leftists, to reject them, to, 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 to kick them out of positions of power. And I think this, um, uh, this vote a recall, which is pretty rare. This recall in California is really, really good news. So we've got a popular uprising, electoral uprising, against the worst elements in our educational system. And I think as a consequence, the schools are not going to be renamed. And more importantly, I think even than the renaming, the two schools that function based on merit today will continue to function based on merit. They will not be shifted to a lottery system uh, and yes, there's still a lot of work to be done, particularly in places like San Francisco. But these little steps matter, particularly when it comes to education, the most important place where we have to have change. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, Subscribestar, Locals, and just making an appropriate contribution. 
uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.